Hey Miami Lakers and welcome to our daily COVID-19 update here in the town of Miami Lakes. I'm joined by our Vice Mayor Nelson Rodriguez and our Town Manager Ed Peterman. Bienvenido a todos los residentes de nuestra comunidad. Hoy estamos dando nuestro update de cada día aquí eh, sobre el coronavirus. Tengo el Vice Alcalde de Nelson Rodriguez con nosotros y nuestro Administrador, el Señor Edward Peterman, uh, que está aquí. Uh, Miami Lakers, uh, in, in today's update, something that I know the manager is going to touch upon because I know we keep getting questions about it. How do we get more testing uh, in our community? I know that's a big, big question. Parte de una cosa que lo están preguntando al administrador y yo todos los días es cómo, cómo va a salir más exámenes del, del coronavirus para nuestra comunidad. Yo pienso que eso debe ser parte de la conversación, pero algo bueno que pasó, que yo estaba hablando con el administrador, I was speaking to our town manager earlier about this, uh, was that our governor, uh, Ron DeSantis, is going to allow uh, pharmacists throughout Florida uh, to begin administering that, that test. What that look, looks like, we don't know yet, because that's something they, they're working through the rules for that. But that's the way that you do mass testing, which we need to reopen our society and our economy, is to do them with our pharmacists who are already equipped and already doing that. So kudos to our governor for thinking outside the box. These regional testing sites are phenomenal, but the reality is if we want to do mass testing, then we have to work uh, with our local pharmacists, and that's exactly what's happening today, and the rulemaking is going to happen. Algo que está hablando el administrador de Dios, como llegamos a un punto donde hacemos más exámenes sobre el coronavirus, algo que hizo el gobernador, ya va a darle la chance, eh, la, las regulaciones y la, la oportunidad a todas farma, las farmacias y lo, las farmacias aquí en nuestra comunidad eh, eh, para estar seguro que hacen los exámenes ahí. Esta, estos lados, como el Parque Amelia, el, el lugar de los Marlins, El estadio de los Marlins y el estadio de los Dolphins, muy bueno, pero al mismo tiempo, para tener los exámenes en un nivel mucho más grande, necesitamos trabajar con el sector privado y eso es lo que va a, a, a parecer que va a pasar en nuestro próximo día aquí. Otra cosa, another thing that was interesting, the governor is going to be working with the National Guard, with over 200 medics with the National Guard, uh, to be visiting uh, senior ALFs and all these sites, to be doing more mass testing. Uh, throughout Florida. So those are great, great things, little things that are happening uh, that I just wanted to chime in before we get into our, our localized update, which is really great because a lot of things going on, and I'll pass it over to our Vice Mayor, Mr. Manager. Yeah, I wanted to get started by just talking about, uh, first, the number of cases that we have here in the town of Miami Lakes, as I normally do, and it's more good news. The number has been unchanged now for three straight days. We're still at number at 43 positive cases here in the town of Miami Lakes. And that number has only increased by two in the last 11 days. It's incredible news and it's a uh, great testament to all the hard work that everybody's doing and the adherence to the medical uh, guidance. Quería avisarle que hoy tenemos otra vez el mismo número que ayer con los casos positivos aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes. Tenemos 43 casos positivos el mismo número que ha sido por los últimos tres días. Es más, solamente hemos tenido dos casos positivos en los últimos 11 días. Qué buenísima, buenísima noticia y es debido a todo el esfuerzo que han hecho ustedes los residentes de, de Miami Lakes. Le quería volver a repetir que esta tarde, esta tarde, el alcalde del condado va a hacer un anuncio, una declaración abriendo limitadamente eh, los parques. So, va a haber una, una, una apertura de parque otra vez eh, con uso limitado. I uh, wanted to repeat that this afternoon, uh, Day, Miami-Dade County is going to be issuing uh, an emergency order with a limited reopening of the, uh, my, of the parks. We're going to take a look at it, and within the next 24 hours, we're going to be issuing our own order, which uh, limits and, and talks about how the Miami Lakes parks will be reopened, which is great news. Uh, for all of our town residents. In addition, the I know that there are working groups looking at the reopening of businesses and what I've been told by the Miami, uh, uh, Miami-Dade City Managers Association is that there's very good possibility that we should have a draft of the reopening plan by the end of this week. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Thank you for that great news. Good job, Miami Lakers. We're very proud as a, as a community that folks are working hand in hand to make sure that we flatten that curve. And it looks like we're doing it, or we've done it already here in our community, and we're going to be releasing that information about our parks very soon. But our vice mayor is here to talk to you guys. He's also a firefighter paramedic. 
he's definitely going to share with you guys some uh, very good tips on how to do, uh, how to wear your mask properly, how to have the gloves, how to go out and about. Uh, these are all tips that uh, it looks like, at least for the short term, it'll be part of a new normal uh, for the short term, but he can give you guys a lot of tips on how that's going to look and how to uh, definitely act when when you're in public in regards to proper sanitation and disinfection and dis, you know, disinfecting stuff. So, uh, thank, Mr. Thank Vice you, Mayor. Mayor. That's one of the biggest things that I've been trying to teach everybody as we go around is people are wearing gloves and they're wearing masks and they're forgetting that the gloves is a barrier, but everything you touch is on your gloves now. And if you touch your face with your gloves or if you touch your cell phone and bring it to your face with your gloves, you haven't done anything but cross-contaminate yourself. So es importante que nos acordemos que si están poniéndose los guantes, Lo único que están haciendo es protegiéndose las manos, pero si tocan un producto o to y tocan su teléfono y le ponen pone el teléfono a la, a la cara con los guantes esos puestos, te contaminaste. So, es muy importante que si estás usando los guantes, eh, que te los quite antes que toques cualquier cosa en tu carro o, o en tu teléfono y por favor no los boten en el piso del parqueo de la tienda. Pónganlo en su carro y los botan en la casa. Very important. If you're wearing gloves and you finish using them, Please do not dispose of them in the parking lot of the store. Please put them in your car, take them home, and throw them away properly. Um, that's just contamination on the street, and it's littering, and it's making Miami Lakes look very, very ugly. Uh, one of the biggest things is to remember is to wear your, your mask in public. If you don't have masks, you don't have access to masks, CVS is selling masks. Um, they're, they're selling this same mask right here for about $1.99, um, and you can buy the mask any type of product, the mayor made a video alone on how to use a, a scarf. So it's very important that we go ahead and continue to protect ourselves as this progresses and as the, the mayor of Dade County opens up more of the areas around. In reference to testing, if you want to do testing, you can still go to any of the facilities. Please call 305-268-4319. Si quieren hacerse el examen de virus, pueden ir gratis y llamar a un appointment at 305 268-4319. Y muy importante, si, si no tienen máscara o acceso a máscara, CBS está vendiendo las máscaras a 1.99 cada una. Yo compré esta misma ayer para demostrarle a ustedes que, que la tienen uh, y hay acceso a esas máscaras. Eh, y cualquier trapo que se puede poner en la boca es algo para prevenir la contaminación. Como dijo el manager, es importante, estamos llegando a un nivel ahora que no estamos, los números no están subiendo y eso es buenísimo para nuestro negocio en nuestra comunidad para empezar a abrir lo, lo, las tiendas y los parques eh, y va a haber un, 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 um, información en qué parte de los parques se van a abrir, no se va a abrir todo el parque entero, pero es algo que estamos moviendo en ese, en ese reto. Eh, thank you, Vice Mayor. Gracias, Vice Alcalde, por eso. Mr. Manager, one of the questions that I got yesterday, and I want to reiterate because a lot of folks eh, believe, especially in our community, our tall lots are so important there in every single neighborhood. Um, are they going to reopen when all the regional parks open? I know that there's a definition that the county has that says playgrounds aren't going to reopen. Where do our tot lots that are maybe 90 something of them around town, where do they fall into uh, in regards to these rules? Yeah, this first phase of the park reopening uh, that the county is going to issue in the next hours probably or later this afternoon that will probably go into effect on Wednesday will keep closed the tot lots, any playground type of a, of a park is gonna to continue to be closed. What's gonna be open are gonna be the larger parks like uh, Royal Oaks and Miami Lakes Optimus Park. So that's just for the first phase. Uh, there's still light at the end of the tunnel. As this matures, this plan takes, uh, takes, uh, takes hold. In the next week or two, I foresee that then the tot lots will be in the next phase and they'll also be reopened. So, administrador, eh, una pregunta que me están preguntando mucho de reciente aquí en nuestra comunidad. Los parques más pequeños que se llaman Tot Lots aquí en nuestra comunidad, que hay más que 90 en la ciudad de Miami Lakes. ¿Qué va a pasar con eso? Porque muchas personas me dicen, eso no son de verdad playgrounds, no son parques más grandes. ¿Dónde van a estar esos parques pequeños en la orden que va a salir ahora para, para reabrir el miércoles? Sí, los parques pequeños que tenemos en nuestros vecindarios eso se van a mantener cerrado. Eso basado en la orden que va a eh, poner el condado esta tarde, siguen cerrados. Pero acuérdate que el plan que el condado está por, eh, anunciando esta tarde es solamente la primera fase de la reapertura de los parques. So, eventualmente, yo espero una semana, lo más dos semanas, 
eh, la, la segunda fase, fase de la reapertura de los parques va a incluir los parques pequeños que tenemos en nuestra vecindad. Thank you, Mr. Manager. Alice Cruz Acevo, she has a question. I have a question regarding Hialeah. Supposedly there are 1,400 cases. Why is this number so high? Because there are three hospitals and two test centers. Uh, Alice, I'll, I'll help chime in on that. It's all relative, right? I mean, we have, uh, what is it, Mr. Manager, 43 cases? 43. 43 cases here in our community. There's 33,000 people. There's three, 300,000 people that live in Hialeah. I mean, there's a lot larger uh, municipality. Um, so, so we got to keep that in mind too, just because of those numbers. Uh, we're at 43, Hialeah is at 1,400, but there are 300,000 uh, residents in the city of Hialeah, and it's one of the largest cities in the state of Florida. So, uh, just keep that in mind in general. I mean, how those numbers uh, might sound bigger, but they're a lot bigger than uh, than we are. One thing to remember, uh, Mayor and, and, and Manager, is just because you tested positive doesn't mean that you're going to be in the hospital. Right? So there's a lot of people that tested positive, have zero symptoms, okay, and, are, and have no need to go to the hospital or in quarantine. Just because you tested positive does not mean that you have symptoms. So the testing is available. As, as more testing sites open up, that number is going to increase. That is natural. That is normal. Because people may be asymptomatic, meaning that they don't know that they have the symptoms uh, or, or the virus, and they got no symptoms. So that's one of the biggest things you got to understand is that It ha the, the number is not what's so important, it's how we take care of it as we open and we continue to behave in the manner of wearing our mask and protecting ourselves so we don't spread it even though you may not know you have it. Look, and I think another, another thing the manager will touch upon now is that uh, just this is something we've been working on. It's been stuck in the U.S. Senate, passed out of the House twice. But our zip code, that's a perfect example. There's a lot of people's driver's license, uh, although they live north of 170, it says Hialeah. Um, so there's hundreds of thousands of people that live in Northwest Dade, and a lot of folks, although they're not in the city limits of Hialeah, it, it, their addresses say, say Hialeah. So that might also be uh, part part in uh, why why those counts are, are like that, Mr. Manager. Yeah, I mean, obviously we we they're not our numbers, right? So we can't always attest to how uh, accurate uh, the cases are that are in the Hialeah mix. I think the same thing is happening to the city of Miami. City of Miami has a very high number, but a lot of it may be portions of unincorporated Dade County that show Miami, Florida as their address, and they put them into the city of Miami. So a lot of those factors play in. What I can tell you is that the numbers that Miami Lakes is demonstrating is low in comparison to almost, uh, regardless of who's in what uh, grouping, our numbers are extremely low, and I think that's a great testament to, to the hard work and the, and the adherence to the guidance, right? Because we're not making things up when the medical professionals tell us to cover our faces, to wash our hands, to maintain social distancing, all the, all the things that we've been hearing about now for over a month, our Miami Lakers took that to heart and really took that uh, to a higher level and is really paying dividends by having our low numbers. And we've even really seen it over the last two to three weeks. The, 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 the curve is really, really flat uh, for the town of Miami Lakes and that's a, that's a great thing. A testament to all of our residents. Uh, Jay, thanks for the recommendations. Again, thanks for reaching out. I know you emailed the manager and I with a bunch of recommendations. Keep sending them in. That helps us become better. Any ideas that any of you guys have, you know, email it to us, um, and we'll definitely take that into consideration. Esther Gonzalez, what about hair salons? Este Gonzalez está preguntando qué está pasando con los salones de donde cortan el pelo y arregla las uñas y eso. Yeah, the the. I could, like I said a little while ago, the uh, county has working groups that have already, and, and thankfully, we have great participants on those working groups from Miami Lakes. We have uh, a lot of participation from our town that's really been uh, the voice for the town of Miami Lakes uh, residents at the county level. The county has working groups that are looking for, similar to what they did with the parks and the waterways and the golf courses that now they're, today they're about to announce the first phase. They have working groups that are looking at the businesses and the first phase of the uh, limited reopenings of some of those businesses will probably be announced before the end of this week or early next week. So they're working fast. They understand the, uh, the impact that this has to the uh, business owners as well as the employees that work for those businesses. And they're really working hard to get those uh, going as long as it is medically safe to do it. Yeah, and I think one of the, one of the areas that I think you're going to see Uh, people here in Florida, especially decision makers, is they're going to reach out to folks in, in Georgia. They, they already started 
opening up salons, opening up barbershops with those requirements, right? That they have to do a certain amount of, at a time. Everybody has to wear a mask. So I think, you know, we're, we're not reinventing the wheel here in Miami-Dade County. I think there's other areas around the country that have, are ahead of, of, of this area and reopening. So I think you're going to see a lot of people um, look at those areas and ask, uh, ask questions. Uh, Dante wants to know, guys, is the, gir- is the curfew still on? <laughs> the, uh, the magnificent curfew. The curfew, Dante, uh, expired last Thursday, th- last Thursday morning. So from Wednesday night to Thursday morning, that was the last night of the curfew. And thankfully, based on the great numbers that Miami Lakes is exhibiting, I do not foresee another curfew uh, being established uh, for coronavirus. But that doesn't mean when you drive out of our city, so in the town of Miami Lakes, you can be out and about. Uh, the curfew is, is, has expired, expired mid last week. But if you drive into the city of Hialeah, Hialeah Gardens to the south, or even to the east of us, so Palaka, Miami Gardens, I believe all those areas, or even to the west, that's Hialeah to the west of us too, they're uh, under uh, curfew also. Uh, they're still under curfew, although we're not, but just remember that. So if you drive into those areas, those areas are, are under curfew. What about swimming pools? Maria Griffiths wants to know, ¿Qué está pasando con la piscina, la piscina pública? Eh, como la piscina que está en PSN y, y eso, ¿cuándo re, van a reabrir? Sí, la piscina pública que están... Eh, primeramente, eh, la piscina en, no hay pública no en la ciudad no de Miami Lakes. Todas las piscinas que hay en Miami Lakes son privadas. Pero la piscina pública en otros lugares, te, tuviera que ver, esta tarde, más tarde, te pudiera dar una respuesta eh, basada en esa pregunta. Thank you, Miami Lakers. We'll give it another minute or so. We're going to start with some, uh, some closing comments. And we'll end up starting with the vice mayor. But submit. We'll give you another minute. But submit your questions, comments, concerns. We'll get to them. Eh, reciente aquí. Vamos a empezar. Eh, ya nos queda un minuto más o menos. So vamos a empezar ya hablando los, eh, sobre los últimos temas aquí que estamos hablando. Pero si tienen preguntas, eh, mételas ahora en, en el comentario si pueden. Vice mayor. La cosa más importante es que seguimos eh, practicando usando las máscaras y, y, y el espacio de seis pies entre personas. La tienda como Publix está haciendo un, un trabajo increíble, casco, para que las personas eh, sigan saludables y se ve que, que está trabajando aquí en Miami Lakes. Por favor, ahora cuando se si abren los parques, por favor, sigan las reglas de, de, que le van a dar para los parques para que no tengamos más problemas y no siga el virus este pasando. Uh, al final del día, no se lo olvide que hay muchos restaurantes ahí en esta área de Miami Lakes que si siguen abiertos, por favor, ordenen, eh, por, llámenlo, ordenen que le traigan la comida a la casa o, o recoger la comida para seguir apoyando esos restaurantes. Muchas de las tiendas eh, de ropa chiquita las puede ordenar la ropa por, por internet y, y se las llevan a la casa uh, porque ya está, estamos estando en el verano y las personas están cambiando su, su ropa. Very important to remember that uh, as, as the parks open that we continue the behavior of wearing the masks and, and, the, and the six foot uh, distancing, the social distancing. Um, and like Publix has done a fine job, Costco has done a fine job of keeping people in, in distance away and letting people in the stores run. <clears throat> Same thing with, um, with our local restaurants. Don't forget, they're open. Um, call them, order from them. They either deliver or, or, or you can get it by uh, uh, Uber um, and all the other categories. But it's important that we continue to support our local restaurants um, and some of our local small stores that are, are taking online orders. As you know, as the summer and spring are here, the fashions are changing. Um, and uh, of course, you can probably find some fashionable masks out there as well, because I, I see it on the internet that they're making. I know Louis Vuitton's coming out with an expensive one, Mayor, and you know, Mother's Day's coming, so we need to prepare for that. Um, but at the end of the day, let's, let's continue to, to use our, our practicing, our social distancing, and, and keep the behavior up so we can keep the numbers down and we can continue to open up more of our, of our town and, and of the county. Thank you, uh, Vice Mayor, Mr. Manager. Any uh, closing remarks? Yeah, I just wanted to give you a preview. Uh, Later this week, uh, it's a follow-up to an email I sent just uh, about an hour ago to our town council uh, advising them or announcing to them that starting next Monday, the town hall for Miami Lakes will reopen. It's going to look like everything, right? Everything's going to be a little different. So our workflow, the way people come in and out, it's going to be very limited. We're going to continue to try and do Uh, as much as we can virtually, remotely, via email, our town app, everything that we can to limit the person-to-person contact we're going to continue to do. 
so we are going to reopen the doors to town hall starting Monday. I'm going to issue that order later this week. And hopefully it'll be the first baby step in getting back to a new uh, to our new normal. Okay, so definitely good news, uh, Miami Lakers. As you can see, the curve just when it comes to our town looks like it's been flattened, right, Mr. Manager? Yes, sir. Uh, which that is great, 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 great news. Testing at a mass scale, which is what we need to go back. Forget about the new normal. What we need to go back to normal in general. That is coming. It looks like the governor is doing the right thing by allowing pharmacists uh, to give out, to do the corona test in their pharmacies, which is huge. That is great, 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 great news. You can only imagine how many pharmacies there are in the town. There are not only two big chain ones, but there are several smaller mom and pop uh, pharmacies here that can definitely help help with that. Um, our parks reopening, major parks reopening, hopefully on Wednesday. That's fantastic news. Um, so as you can see, we're hopeful, we're optimistic. City Hall's reopening on Monday. Uh, it, it looks a little different than going back to normal right away, but it is great news. We're, we're seeing light at the end of the tunnel. We're moving forward, and it's all thanks to our residents. Uh, making those sacrifices in the short term to make sure we surpass the corona the coronavirus. So, reciente aquí, tú estás viendo mu mucha buena noticia. Parece que ya la curva uh, en nuestra comunidad, en la ciudad de Miami Lakes, ha pasado eh, ya. Y también, para pa eh, pa un sistema normal, eh, tenemos que tener más exámenes de coronavirus. Y ya eso viene. El gobernador eh, va a estar trabajando con las farmacias locales, que aquí en Miami Lakes hay dos farmacias grandes y muchas farmacias pequeñas. Eh, para tener más examen, que es mucho importante. El miércoles se va a reabrir nuestro parque, los parques más grandes de la ciudad. Y eso más estamos hablando de eso. Y el lunes se reabre el ajuntamiento aquí en nuestra comunidad. So, eso es muy buena noticia. Y de verdad eh, estamos muy alegres. Y, y, y es de verdad por el sacrificio que todos ustedes han hecho. Uh, so, Miami Lakers, and those discussions will keep on going. Small businesses, those discussions are happening today. We need to get folks back working with the proper... Uh, PPE, we're doing the proper things, following guidelines, not only uh, from listening to, to doctors, but specifically the scientists that are working on finding a cure, that are working on really studying these, this, the epidemiologists uh, and whatnot, but going forward. So Miami Lakers, thanks. Reach out to us, 305-364-6100. From the vice mayor, the manager, our entire council, our staff, our volunteers, we are here for you. And by the way, I know we promised that there would be a... Uh, a distribution every week and there is a distribution here in the town uh, this week but it will happen at Miami Lakes United Methodist Church on Saturday farm share is doing a distribution at the church Saturday morning at nine o'clock in the morning uh, which is fantastic news and and hopefully we do another one next week with uh, Phoenix South Florida so we are here for you reach out to us uh, and together we will get past this God bless you Miami Lakers and stay safe stay home